If your application called for an external retainer ring, why might you use one type over the other? And I have here eClip versus standard. And just to make sure we're all clear on what I mean by that, this, this style here would be uh, the eClip. And you can remember that because the shape of it looks kind of like an E. And then this would be what, what I'm calling the standard retainer ring. So why might you use one version over the other uh, if your application called for an external retainer ring? Uh, let's define first what's an external um, retainer ring. Why external? Um, an external retainer ring is, uh, for example, one that is placed on uh, on a shaft, on the outside of a, a shaft, versus internal would be you have a hole and you're placing the retaining ring inside of a hole. Internal? Internal. And so this is a shaft. Something here will be external. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, why each one? I have no idea. Honestly, like... Part of it comes down to preference, I think. Um, I, I kind of prefer the, the standard size, uh, the standard type of retainer ring because, right, this kind here, because uh, they're easier to install. Um, they're easier to install uh, assuming you have, you know, the right tool. And I showed that in the video with some little teeth. Is there a picture of that? There we go. Yeah. Uh, this tool gives you really nice uh, mechanical advantage in terms of opening or closing that retainer ring enough to slide it, you know, into your hole or, or onto your shaft. Right now we're talking about using it externally. So you'd be opening the retainer ring so you can slide it onto your shaft easily. Um, the the uh, the the eclip style, um, in, that kind of gets into our second question actually. So if you only had access to a discrete length of shaft and needed to install a retainer ring over that discrete length, and did not have access to the end of the shaft, what type of retainer ring might you choose? Eclip versus standard. So you only have access to a discrete length of shaft and need to install a retainer ring over that discrete length and did not have access to it in the shaft. What type of retainer ring? Um, well, you just said that you prefer to use the e-clip when it's internal. No. No? Right. Mm, I'm not sure. Think about... Um, so let, let's let maybe draw a quick picture just to make sure that... Uh, we're, we're thinking about this the same way. So let's say that we have this shaft right here. And then, who knows, th there's something on, on one end and there's something on the other end. So we have this discrete length of shaft and we do not have access to the end of the shaft. And we need to install a retainer ring. Let's say that we have a little groove right here in our shaft, we, we need to install a retainer ring right there. Um, going back to the pictures that we have here, if, if you look at the openings between the Eclipse style and this standard style, which opening is closer to the uh, uh, the shaft diameter, the Eclipse style or the Eclip. right Eclip? So do you think that you'd be able to open up the standard retainer ring style far enough to slide this retainer ring um, uh, over the uh, uh, or onto the shaft. Um, when I say onto the shaft, could you get it on directly, you know, right there from the side, as opposed to dragging it uh, across from from that direction? Okay, uh, but before attempting to answer this, why would we want to put and eclip there. Well, maybe you have um, maybe you have a gear. You have a gear that is right here, and you want to prevent this gear from sliding back and forth in that direction. And so you have a, a groove right here. You have a second groove right here, and we're saying that you know we have something on the ends that blocks easy access to the ends of the shaft. So uh, the only access you have to the shaft is, is you know, directly on top of it. 
and you want to prevent this gear from moving left or right, back and forth. Yeah, uh, certainly the E-clip, uh, right? Yes. You have, can apply force, and it'll just clip on, I suppose. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, there's, there's no way that you could get a standard retainer ring on here, because the only way to get a standard retainer ring on is to have access to the end of your shaft uh, when you're doing an external application. You can't open your uh, standard retainer ring far enough to slide over the, the diameter, you know, in, in, in this direction. You can only open it up far enough so that you can install that retainer ring from the end of the shaft direction. Makes sense. I do have a question. Okay. Uh, can't a retaining ring just slide off a shaft? What keeps it in place? That's a great question. Um, so that's another difference between the E-clip style and the, the standard style. Um, an E-clip style, it would be uh, certainly possible for that to fall off. Uh, not easily fall off. I mean, something would have to happen. It would have to get bumped or pushed or something like that, but it could come off. Whereas the standard style, it's not going to come off unless you, you know, intentionally use that tool to open it up and, and pull it off your, your, uh, your shaft. Okay, so there you highlighted the differences between um, how, I suppose, tight they hang on to the shaft, mm -hmm. right? But I think the answer could be the groove, right? Because this is not just a shaft, correct? Like, this is a shaft with grooves in it. Um, so it, it's designed so that you can put the, the rings on it, correct? That's right. right. Okay. Yeah. So this shaft looks more like... Like that? Exactly. Yep. Yep. That's right. So you can put the rings right there. Yep. And you could put either style retainer ring in, in those slots. There are... The dimensions are a little bit different and the supplier will, will tell you what that that groove uh, depth should be. But you could put uh, either style retaining ring on. The, the E-clip style just has less engagement with the, uh, with the groove, so it can come off more easily. In your experience, how often do you use uh, each ring, the E-clip versus the other one? Um, we usually use the standard style. Every now and then we'll have an application where we only have access to the outside of the shaft and not to the end, and then we'll use the E-clip style. But otherwise, um, uh, we usually use the, the standard style because it's uh, more secure. Excellent. If you found this content helpful, consider enrolling in our signature program at mypipelineacademy.com. Whether you're an individual interested in beginning a new career as a mechanical designer or a company interested in training your new engineering hires. Our signature program helps students develop the practical skills they need to be productive mechanical design engineers. Seating is limited. We hope to see you there soon.